Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the laser in your Xbox One disk drive. Now this method works for that original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox One X. If you need to watch the teardown to see how to get to the disk drive, I do have all of those teardowns right on my channel. Just do a search up in the search box and you'll be able to find those videos for the teardown itself. Once you get the disk drive out, then you can watch this video to see how to replace the laser. Some of the symptoms that tell you you might need to replace the laser are if you put your disc in and it refuses to read or it'll read either a game or a movie but not both. Things like that usually mean that it's time to replace the laser in your disk drive. Also keep in mind, however, there are lots of parts and pieces to a disk drive. So keep in mind that there's more than one possible fix for your problem and this may not be the fix for you. With all that being said, let's get into the repair. Now once you have your disk drive removed from your Xbox, you'll need to remove this bracket. These clips just hold it onto the disk drive itself. So we'll remove that. And then we'll need to remove these two cables from the back. Just grab them and pull. Just like that. You see I wiggle them back and forth just to make sure they come out. Then we have two screws on the bottom, two screws on the top. After those screws are removed, you can take it from the back and get your fingers under there and lift this bottom cover up. Then we have the inside of the disk drive. We have the daughter board right here. We've got the gears that make the roller spin under here. And then right under this big ribbon cable, we have the laser itself. So we need to remove this cable, this cable, and this cable. And then there are three screws, one here, one here, and one here. We need to remove this daughter board and flip it up. We can't take it all the way out without unsoldering these wires, and we don't need to do that for this specific job. So we're just going to flip it up so it's out of the way. You can use plastic pry tools to get these ribbon cables out if you need to, but I just use my fingernails. Now with the cables disconnected and the screws unscrewed, we can simply lift this up and out of the way. Now we have easy access to the laser and the carrier. We're actually gonna remove this whole metal carrier that will include the laser. We have one, two, three screws for that. Now that those three screws are removed, we can simply lift this up and out of the way. The first thing we need to do is remove this ribbon cable. To do so, we'll need to disengage it from its locking clip right down here. I will normally use my fingernail or sometimes a plastic pry tool to disengage the lock. And then once you do that, the ribbon cable will slide out. Keep in mind this ribbon cable, when you go to put it on, it has these two tabs on the outside and those tabs will need to correspond with the grooves in this connector. So when you put it back on, you gotta make sure that it's in there fully before you lock it down. Now I have the screws marked on here, what needs to come off. So we need to remove those screws so we can get this plate off. And then we'll need to remove the marked screws on this side in order to get the laser out of the disk drive. With all the screws removed, we can carefully lift this up and out of the way. And now we need to flip this over and we'll need to remove all the screws marked in red right here. Once those screws are removed, we need to flip the motor up like this. And we do need to be very careful because as you can see, this ribbon cable is being twisted. So we need to not pull on this. We just need to flip it up very carefully, just enough to get this job done. Now we need to line the laser up with this groove. So then we can pull it out and we need to remove this black screw. Now keep in mind this laser, actually this white piece is broken. So you can see it just rolls back and forth on here. This is actually a fairly common problem with these. So you do need to make sure if for some reason yours is broken, that you either get this white piece or you get a laser that includes it or you buy a broken carrier or something so you can get that white piece because if you don't have that or if it's broken it's not going to work correctly. Now with that done and all the screws removed we can move this silver bar up and out of the way and then we can pull off the laser just like that. Now the new laser is going to come just like this so when you do get the new laser you do need to transfer this white piece and then you need to put the bar back through right here, just like that. And with the new laser, the first thing we need to do is line it up with this bar. 
and then we need to put the this bar into this groove like that and then it will automatically fall into the groove on this side then we need to install this white piece there are two locating pins on the white piece and then we need to put the black screw in now that that's all in we need to flip this motor back up like this make sure it's lined up correctly with the screw holes and then install the screws And now that those screws are installed, we flip it over and we'll install the metal plate and the screws that go on the bottom side. Now this metal plate has this pin, this pin, this pin, and this pin, and we need to make sure that those go down into the slots on the main carrier. So we're gonna put it on carefully, make sure those are down in the slots. These, each of these pins push on these rods that go through here, and that's what keeps the rods in place. So we need to make sure that these are all in their slots correctly, and then we can install the screws. Once the screws are on, we can look it over again and make sure everything's in its groove how it should be. Double check the backside, make sure these bars are still located where they should be. And assuming everything is, we can put it back into the disk drive. Now before this carrier goes back into the disk drive, we need to install the ribbon cable back onto the laser. We need to make sure this locking tab is all the way open. And then we need to push the ribbon cable in slowly and carefully and make sure that the little tab is inside the connector correctly. Once we're sure that it is, we'll go ahead and lock it down. Now the ribbon cable is locked down and installed correctly, we're gonna install the carrier back into the disk drive. We're gonna make sure the green daughter board, board is flipped up and out of the way. The carrier goes face down with the laser facing down. This piece and this piece each have a little metal tab they need to go under, so make sure and align it correctly and then make sure the screw holes are all aligned as well. Then we put the screws in. After the carrier is installed, we can then flip this green board back up, make sure the ribbon cables are all out of the way, and that it goes under this black tab. Now there's three screws to connect this, one, two, three, so we'll do that next. After those three screws are installed, we can install the ribbon cables. The laser ribbon cable. This ribbon cable is for the motor on the carrier. And then we have this ribbon cable up at the top which is for the sensors that sense when there's a disc in the drive. Now that all the ribbon cables are attached and the daughter board is installed, we can go ahead and put the bottom case back on. The metal mesh lines up with the metal mesh on the sides and then we can install the four screws. And now we have just replaced the laser in our Xbox One disk drive. Now you can put it in and test it and make sure it works as it should. Thanks for watching this guide on how to replace the disk drive laser on your Xbox One X game console. I hope it helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments section below. And I'll be hanging out for the next hour or so once this video goes live. Thanks again for supporting this channel and have a good one.